Hey, what's going on? I'm playing an Amnesia Fortnite game. The White Birch. Yeah. I'm on my new computer, so it's gonna run as nicely as ever. Check it out. Stuff looks nicer. Or maybe... I don't know. Maybe it's just the computer. I don't know why it looks nicer. All of a sudden. Maybe it's just because of time. Isn't that cool how stuff moves when you walk by it? But you still clip through it? What the hell? No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking around. It's a freaking prototype. The funniest thing about this was, like, all the... Like, the only reason, like, to, I feel the only reason this thing got picked was because it was like, I, I like Journey and I go and stuff, and I won't make a game like that. It's like, anyone could say that, you know? Nice. So, like, in the video, Brian's like, yeah, I, I put piano sounds because I didn't want to, couldn't put enough sounds and everything. Just fine, but I think the main thing everyone was like, "What the hell about?" It was the, the actual thud on the ground? That could have had a piano note, maybe, or a sound. You can see the owl better, even though like it's supposed to be some big thing. That's cool. I actually saw it fly there and stop. You have to like really pay attention to it. It's Cool. So look at that. You can't move the camera anymore. I don't know if you can swing, but you just climb up and jump. And yeah. It's pretty cool. So like, <clears throat> as soon as you get to a certain area, I gotta, I just want to point this out. So I'm like right here, and it's like slowly moving back to here, right? And I move like an inch, or like a centimeter, or whatever, and it moves to a different angle. On, uh, with Ico, it would move, like if you moved an inch, it would move an inch. You see what I'm saying? Like it would have, like... It would have like this full, like this camera angle or whatever this state or you know wherever the hell this is and wherever the hell this is. It would it would be like over here is the max of the year and then maybe over here. You know, see how it follows you all of a sudden? Like maybe here is where it, it you know, and then so it takes like a, a while, you know, like a good amount of walking to yeah, you know what I mean? Like, like it doesn't just immediately cut to a different angle. It, like, gives you walking time as it shifts to a different angle. It's like the rigidness, you know? It's like, if you wanted a game that was like Ico, you, you would not make the cameras rigid. Um, or, like, that would be goal number one, right? Like, cameras that aren't rigid. Um, and then, like, the other main thing would be, like, momentum for, like, you know what I mean? Like, like, if I, like, if you were, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to say, like, if I were to make one, because that's stupid, I'm an idiot, but, like, wouldn't, like, if the goal was to make a game that was inspired by a different other game, then wouldn't you try to be like, oh, what, identify what made it feel so good? Because it's not just, um, the way something looks. Like, I don't know how to explain it, really. It's like, movement has momentum and stuff like that. And, and, like, you, you know, like, in Ico, you never, like, walked up some, you never walked up a platform like this, because I, I bet you that when they were making the game, they were like, oh, it's hard, 
it's hard for us to make it look nice when we're walking up an area like this. So let's just make them walk around in flat areas and stairs and shit, you know? So that's what they did, you know? They're like, oh, let's make them climb just simple shit. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know what I'm talking about. But it's not like I'm ripping on it. Like, like I just finished Black Lake. And I feel like when I was recording that, I was just ripping on the game the whole time. But I, it's not like I, like I don't dislike Black Lake. I just feel like, like it's a lot of wasted uh, effort. Like, like they did a lot of cool things, but they could have just made Kaiju Pile Driver, or a ga they could have made a game that would have resulted in a game. I don't know, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say, I don't want to be an ass or something like that, like, it's just like, yeah, after I finished Black Lake, like, yeah, I, I finished it, but like, would I play it again? No, I just jumped over, sweet, good for me. Alright, like, that's just the whole thing. Like, this is, this is cool. It's like, at least platforming and stuff like that, like... If they added more levels, like, okay, if they made Black Lake twice as long, or ten times as long, I'd have to see it, you know, I'd want to, I'd want to see everything, I would not care about spoilers, I'd want to see videos of why I should do it, you know, but if they made this into a full game, I'd be like, like, I wouldn't be convinced of, like, they'd have to actually do a good job to, um, make it like I go and this is two weeks so obviously you never like yeah, like in, like a goal in a two week prototype isn't like I want to make a timeless classic like that's not a realistic goal within a two week prototype like if someone says I want to make the best game ever in two weeks you should kind of like be like okay well you don't get to submit your you know what I mean like, like those people shouldn't be allowed to be taken seriously like no disrespect but like it's like totally unrealistic to it's like I want to make a platforming game a minimalistic platforming game or something like that like or being like more I don't know it was like I want to make a game like this instead of I want to make a game that has because uh, okay hear me out like Andy's cool he's an art guy so and I, from what I understand he really likes the art and stuff like that of those games and if you look at the art in this what do you think and it kind of has that, that kind of vibe of let's just make stuff and well, Jane made this, but you know, Andy obviously helped. But yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. If the main criticism is basically, well, the wording was pretty uh, misleading. But I was like one of the only people who was ripping on that in the forums. I'm a troll. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. I don't want to. I'm not really a troll. I'm just critical and it yeah so I'm at the end as if you didn't know it's kind of short it's just you walk in you jump around there's some crows you walk around you know there's that bridge thing it's pretty uh once you know to do it it's pretty much like yeah But you know, Dark Souls. <laughs> Dark Souls is a good game. I don't know why I just said that. It's because it's a great game. Whoa. It was just making me think like, oh, if only Dark Souls had good platforming. Because Dark Souls, you. If there's a freaking 
there's like a pl like a thing that's like up to your platform up to your knees and you can't walk up there you have to find a ledge or like a a ramp it's like you're a person with a wheelchair except you're actually a person with we with legs and you're walking around and you're supposed to be really strong and stuff so you know amazing amazing games like dark souls can have big big pitfalls like Hey, look, there's a ledge that's up to my knees. I can jump over it. No, you have to find a ramp because you're because it's not ledges up to your knees aren't wheelchair accessible. You know what I'm saying? Like, so great games like Dark Souls could have giant, huge problems with them too. So, not ripping on. I guess what I mean is like Double Fine's awesome and they have big, big ambitions and stuff. So. I guess I, well, I guess what I mean is like they have huge talent. They should have realistic ambitions. And then set those huge goals to other huge goals. Like make a game like uh, make a game like Ico after you've made a prototype of it. I don't know how to explain. Like don't talk about stuff like timeless classics. In a two-week time frame, <laughs> that's, that's the only thing that pissed, pissed me off. I'm so, I'm such an asshole for saying that over and over again too. Like what type of, what, like seriously, what the fuck type of playthrough was that? All I did was rip on the game again. You can tell which prototypes I didn't like, right? Like, but look, it's not even a bad prototype. I, I can play it again. Like it just look it's just this is another one that just looked good. And it's good to make something that looks good, but I don't know, it's just like if Amnesia Fortnite is about taking useful time and making something um like experimenting with something useful like the experimentation of just like, oh let's try this art see if this art style and simple platforming mix it's like hey i i uh probably know the answer it's yes uh but how about an interesting take on platforming and then applying that to known things like hey pretty stuff plus working mechanics that everyone knows how to use you know what i mean like hey let's make a shooter that's like um you know, set in the forest, you know, and you're, and everything's really colorful like a Nintendo game, you know? You know, like Banjo-Kazooie on the Xbox and Nintendo Land kind of looks similar, you know, like that crazy look to it. Like that PS4 game that's like really colorful and stuff. Yeah, like, let's just make a shooter like that, you know, and, and instead of blood, it's like gummy bears and then and flowers and stuff be really cool be like that freddy w video like yeah that's come on like without a doubt that will like if you have exactly like just as mechanically tight and perfect as call of duty is because like rip you can rip on call of duty all you want i rip on call of duty a lot i don't really like i don't like the way activision treated those guys it's really lame but um at the same time really really goddamn tight they figured some stuff out before they got fired and you know if you do that with like a wacky whatever oh yeah it's gonna totally work so why the hell would you sp spend two weeks trying to get like really really crappy version of call of duty up and running with an art style that you know will work well with it like why don't you just try to make an interesting type of shooter like vanquish right instead of being like Oh, let's try to mimic Gears of War and make it with these robots and stuff instead of with crazy people. Yeah, that'd be great. But then why don't you just make a good take on like Vanquish was a good take on a third-person shooter. It's like took Gears of War and took it to the next level, you know, instead of just copying Gears of War, doing a bad copy of Gears of War, and having a good um, art direction or whatever the hell you're talking about, you know? Like, Vanquish had, like, a disc, disc weapon, and you could dismember giant robots. 
and then have them like like chop off one of their legs and one of their arms and then two of their legs and then they have one of their arms and they're just crawling around with the one arm and you know you can do this like that was cool you know so you know you know what I'm saying I love the hat though. Let's see if I get another hat. Do it if I like. Will I get another hat if I do this? I'm wondering right now. Now, like, I, I got I don't want to offend anyone for giving my honest opinions and stuff. Cause like, I I totally appreciate how hard everyone was working on these games. Cause I like, I totally I watched the live streams. Like, yeah. That week, or no, those two weeks. It was like one full week and then like half of a week and half a week. But it was two weeks. It was kind of two, two and a bit because they had like picking days when they were, they were live streaming a couple days before. Anywho, anywho, uh, those couple weeks were like double fine weeks. It was really fun. So, achievements, custodian. Oh, trailblazer. Did I, I just totally got another achievement. 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 Come on. Let's see what happens. Uh, achievements. Nothing, eh? Right? Holy shiznit. Look. Look. I have antlers. I have mother freaking antlers. See, like, I love that. Like, I was, I posted on the forums, like, uh, like, what if, what if you had, like, something that you get at the end of the game, and it's, like, low gravity, and it, like, changes, you know, so then you can play, it, and then there's, like, different, it's, like, um, like, on the Giant Ball Minecraft server when I was, when I made, like, the test chambers. I haven't played those yet, but you could, like, there's like certain ways, you know, like you could do it regularly or you could use the ender pearls that like warp you to places and it's like a different... Like you, you like tweak, like make it so it works right for one way and then make it so it like has a couple extra little secrets if you use ender pearls, you know, it's a little bit different. You know, it's still, it's still kind of hard but not totally, like it's not totally easy, you know what I'm saying. Like you can totally make something so it's like, oh, it works well normally, but then when you play it in low gravity mode or some crap like that, it like, it still works, you know? It's still like, fun, like it'll still pose a challenge in certain spots. And you can just, you, you know what I'm saying, right? I got like, um, like I added shortcuts in the test chambers too. So, um, it's so like, yeah. So there's like multiple ways, you know, you can make it, like, I love that stuff, you know? You can make a simple platforming, like, there's lots of ways to make simple platforming uh, interesting in more than one playthrough. And it's a really interesting thing to, like, you have to, you have to play it a lot, like, it's funny. And it's kind of fucked up how Minecraft's kind of like, you can make better platforming games and you can make better platforming uh, levels or whatever in Minecraft. But this is actually really fun, and you can't do stuff like this in Minecraft, but... Once you know how to do it, then it's kinda... I'm digging around now. I've played this for a while. I got my antlers, it's so cool. Look at that. Alright, I'm done. i played a while. This is a long episode. Alright, I'll see you later, okay? I'm done playing the White Birch. I might play it again if, if anyone wants to, but yeah. If, if you guys want to play it with me, haha. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you guys. I love you double fine.